Hello Leo, welcome to a bonus love reading. We're gonna be looking at how your person is thinking or feeling about you. What do you need to know about them? And what are their next actions, true intentions? As always, this is meant to be a general love reading, so will not resonate with every Leo 100%. Um, if this isn't your reading, then just check out your other placements. Um, I'll have all of the different playlists for each sign linked in the description box. So you can check your sun, your moon, your rising, and any other sign of significance there. So let's jump right in for Leo. What does Leo need to know, spirit? What are they thinking or feeling about Leo? Leo's person, the person they are connecting with or thinking about at this time. What are their energies towards Leo? Time out. Time is of the essence. Okay. What else? I think I just did a... Actually, I think I just did a reading for you. I don't think it's up yet. But I thought that the title was something with time. Maybe I'm wrong about that. No, it was. It was your you and them love reading. The you and them love reading for Leo for October 2021. It was like they they know time is running out. That was one of the themes in that reading. So this could be a continuation of that. We'll see. What else do we need to know about how they're thinking or feeling about Leo? I can't see myself with anyone else but you. Let me put this over here actually. Okay. So I, I get the sense they might be comparing you to others, comparing others to you. I can't see myself with anyone else but you. So I get the sense that you're not together. Why do I make picking? It's almost like you're not with this person. But they can't accept that it's not like that. It's like they can't really accept that they're not with you. Okay, can I get some insight, please? What are they thinking or feeling about Leo? What are they thinking or feeling about Leo? Expect a message. Okay, so they want to tell you something. They got something to say. Okay, so let's see what comes up with the tarot. Okay, tell me more about this person that Leo is or will be dealing with. What are their energies, thoughts, feelings towards Leo? Just saw the strength card. Yep, there it is. What are their thoughts, energies, feelings towards Leo? What do we need to know about this person? Okay, let's see what we get for you. And what they're thinking or feeling. Ten of Cups reverse. Yikes. And the Empress. Okay. Um, I feel like they might think you're an Empress type of energy. And that makes sense because I can't see anyone else. I can't see myself with anyone else but you. The Empress is unique. Uh, the Empress is the ideal. Um, the Empress is someone that has a lot to offer. Um, so the, the fact that the Ten of Cups is reversed here with the Empress, it's almost like they're heartbroken over maybe losing this Empress, of time running out, not being able to be with their Empress. And this could be male or female, it does not matter. It's more about the energy of an empress. And the empress is someone that you can see, really have a future with because they have just as much to bring to the table as the other person, right? The empress is life, creativity, growth, expansion. Everything they touch turns to gold. They're very abundant. And so who wouldn't want a partner like that? And they're not easy to come by, these these types of um, energies. So I think this person's heartbroken over the fact that either they have lost an empress, upset their empress, or even it could be that they're not growing with who they want to grow with. What do we need to know? Five of coin reverse. Yeah, this is this person's focus on recovery, but then we have judgment reverse. So this could be delayed. This could be delayed if they want a second chance, if they want, you know, if they want recovery. Okay, so I'm seeing both ways. The second chance could be delayed or they're making a bad judgment call trying to recover something. We'll see. What are their true intentions, next actions? Queen of Wands reverse. Yeah. 
So when I see Judgment reverse, Queen of Wands reverse, or King of Wands reverse, or any of the wands from the court cards reverse, I think of someone jumping into something, making a mistake. They tend to think later, act first, or they tend to act first, think later. Um, and usually they're very impulsive. Um, they usually have tempers. They usually are very, um, you know, it's, it's like, I want what I want when I want it. And sometimes that blows up in their face. So we'll see what that's about. And then we have the Four of Swords reverse. So I feel like this is some sort of action or communication that maybe they want to do very quickly here. Bottom of the deck, we have Justice. Interesting. Libra energy. So I feel like this is your person's goal. I think they want to have some sort of balance here to make things right, to recover something, as I do see that energy on the board. Um, and Libra is also, a not Libra, Justice is also a card about being objective being logical, looking at something, um, you know, from all angles. And so I feel like this person could also be trying to think of a way to bring back balance that maybe is more thought driven than um, emotional driven, I guess. Um, because I get the sense that this person is so focused on like doing something. Um, and I feel it's because time is running out and at least in their minds there's something here with time and so i think that they're trying to do the right thing but it might backfire because of the way they do it um okay so let's see let's see if i'm right about that can you get some insight please for leo what do we need to know about these energies here can we get some clarity insight please for leo Okay, let's start in here with the Ten of Cups reverse and the Empress. This is in the what they're currently thinking or feeling about you. Okay, so tell me about the Ten of Cups reverse and the Empress. Tell me about the Ten of Cups reverse and the Empress. Three of Pentacles. Tell me more about the Ten of Cups reverse and the Empress. The Empress shows up again. I'm telling you, this Empress is important. Okay, can I get some more with the... And I feel like with the Three of Pentacles here is like building something, working together. Okay, why is the Devil here? Oh. Okay. The instant I put down this Queen of Pentacles, I thought there's something else here. Especially because the Three of Pentacles is here and the Devil. Capricorn Energy. I think I said that already. Okay. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles before I jump the gun here. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. I mean, I have already learned to just go with my gut on, you know, the energy I pick up. But sometimes I just want to give these people the benefit of the doubt, you know? <laughs> Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Ten of Wands, King of Wands. Okay, Leo. So I'm gonna I'm gonna say both energies in case there's someone here that okay. See, Page of Swords, Five of Swords, Justice again, King of Wands. Someone wants to make something right because they did something wrong. You see what I'm seeing here? And it's like I want to talk about it. Page of Swords. Okay, so both energies, okay, I'm just going to go with the, en the initial energy that I thought was that someone else is here. This Queen of Pentacles is not this Empress. That was my first thought. And the once I put the Ten of Wands down, it's almost like this Queen of Pentacles is a responsibility. So it's almost like this person feels like they have a responsibility to this Queen of Pentacles, or perhaps they are dealing with a difficult situation with this Queen of Pentacles and they feel very overwhelmed, sad with the Ten of Cups reverse. Um, and I feel like there's almost like this is like feeding into this like almost like obsession with you or this comparison that I'm picking up with. I can't see myself with anyone else but you. Almost like they're with a Queen of Pentacles, but they could be with an Empress. 
And I think that's messing with their that their head because I think for some reason this first group of Leos, this person, they ruined a possibility with you. And so it's like they had no choice but to be with a Queen of Pentacles. That's the first group of Leos. The second group of Leos that I'm picking up here is there's not a third party per se, but this person is like dealing with, it's almost like an obsession or like a serious desire that they have with like fixing things. Um, and it, it's almost like they feel like time is running out. Um, and so they're trying to, to, it's like almost like they're trying to present themselves as a queen of pentacles type of person which is somebody that has it together, someone that's sufficient, someone that is smart and business savvy and a loyal partner. Um, I feel like they're trying to present themselves like that to you so they can match your energy and that way they can make things right. So the, I, I feel like I might be speaking to two different groups of Leos here. Okay, so then what do you need to know? We have the five of coin reverse and judgment reverse. Tell me about the five of coin reverse, judgment reverse. I'm gonna get up all these energies here. Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about the five of coin reverse, judgment reverse. Queen of Cups. Okay, tell me about the five of coin reverse, judgment reverse. This is so sad. King of Swords. Um, what I'm picking up here is, oops, I'm gonna put those back because it was like a bad shuffle. What I'm picking, okay, my deck is going crazy. What I'm picking up here with this Ten of Pentacles and this Queen of Cups, it's almost like this person thinks that they could get this second chance, it would be completely different. In their mind, this would go the long haul, this would last, um, and they could have you know what they've always wanted yeah this is about fixing things a new beginning do you see the energy i'm picking up here the star the fool the ace of pentacles aquarius energy and this is like what they're thinking about wherever they're stuck this is what they're thinking about this ten of pentacles and it's almost like if i could just talk to the person i care about and reveal my feelings um, I could have success here with Leo, but I feel like with the moon is almost like they should have done this before. Um, or perhaps Pisces energy here with the moon, or perhaps there was secrets here that got in the way. I don't think this person has told you this yet. So let's see, what are their next intentions, true in, or next actions, true intentions here? We have the Queen of Wands reverse and the Four of Swords reverse. Tell me about the Queen of Wands reverse and the Four of Swords reverse. Oh my God, another 10. Got all the 10s on the board. Well, actually, no, we're missing 10 of Swords. Okay, tell me about the Queen of Wands reverse, Four of Swords reverse. Six of Wands. Yeah, this is very clear energy. Your person wants to be successful with you. They want to have their happy ending with you. And they're hoping that communication does this. Um, they have the Eight of Swords here at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like the Eight of Swords is very similar to this Hangman. A very stuck energy. But they think, really, if I could just talk to Leo, I could convince them in a way. Or things will turn around for me. Something like that. And you know, this is very clear energy. They want a do-over. And this is something that I've been getting so much with the other signs is this do-over energy, second chances. It just keeps coming up. I don't know what's going on astrologically. I'm not an astrologer, but I feel like it's too much of, it's happening too often for it to be a coincidence. <clears throat> okay, so that's what I have for you, Leo. This is how your person's currently thinking or feeling about you, their current energies. I hope you enjoyed the reading, that it resonated with you. If you did enjoy the reading, please consider hitting that like button, subscribing so you can see more videos from me, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.